Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I have a bit of a different video for you today from what I usually do, and it's not quite a product review, but maybe a first impression. I'm not quite sure what to call it, <laughs> but it is for the Ohuhu pastel set, which is this one right here. I recently got it. Look at all those pretty markers. And it came with this little book. I'm sure people have had done actual reviews, so I'm not really going to go through it, but it came with this little book. And it came with two swatch sheets, which I almost immediately messed up. <laughs> so I made my own swatch sheet inside my sketchbook, which is also an Ahuhu sketchbook. I finally got around to trying it out. And this is my swatch sheet. And I thought something really cool to do would be a versus. And I did a poll on Instagram if you guys wanted to see Ohuhu pastel markers first impressions, since I've used Ohuhu markers before and I'm not really good at reviews or looking to do reviews per se, or a Ohuhu versus Copic because, and this took probably way longer than it needed to, I colored the Ohuhus in the circles and then right under it, I'll see if I can zoom in. I did the equivalent of the Copic markers or as best as I could. And this didn't match all the colors exactly. So I did an even more detailed one, <laughs> trying to find the right color for each. And to finalize it so I know which one was for which, I wrote them down right here. The teal ones are ones that I have in my Copic collection, so I would be able to use those colors as close as I could. But the pink ones I do not have. Those I used a filled Copic marker color chart to see which one would fit closest. So for this one, I'm going to do the Ohuhu versus Copic because that one won, though not by much, it was pretty even for the two different ones, but this one won, so I'm gonna do this one first, but then I'm gonna do the Ohuhu, oh, that's so much fun to say, <laughs> Ohuhu, or Ohui Hui, as my mom said once, she's so cute, oh my goodness. Anyways, I'm gonna do that for this one here. So this one will be more the first impressions, because I knew I wanted to do both. And this one will be the Copic, which I think, I don't know. They're going to be the same colors. They're twins anyways, which was perfect for the verses. But I don't know which side will be Ohuhu and which one will be Copic. Probably this one, Ohuhu and Copic, since I did the verses that way. So that was a very much longer introduction than I thought I was going to do. But anyways, here we go. And here is the start of the speed paint process. This was a lot of fun. I have had the Ohuhu set before. It's the 120 count with the brush markers, though I had a 48 count with the bullet nibs before, and I absolutely adore them. I love the case that they come in. If Copic would change anything, <laughs> it would be to have a case like that instead of those plastic ones, though I can't really gripe about the plastic ones because most of them I've collected singularly. I don't think I've ever gotten a set besides maybe some chow ones for a birthday or something. But most of them over like the past 12 years, I think, I've just been picking them out one by one. So to get a set now would almost be a waste because I could simply just go get the ones that I don't have because a lot of them I also have the refills for. They're not the new refills. I really do want those because I still have a lot of markers in timeout. But anyways, back to the speed paint instead of my, my refill soap opera. I love Ahuhu. 
Uh, the pastel set was way cool. I love that they did these soft colors because even in the brush marker that they updated, there were still really bright colors. And I think I found really similar colors. Hopefully I did. A lot of them you could probably interchange and not really even know, though I must say, I gave myself quite a scare with her skin color because the second marker that I use, it almost looked green. And I was like, oh no, they're going to look sickly. What am I doing? <laughs> but I wanted to try and use as many colors as possible from each set or brand so that you could really see the difference and the similarities. And I think I accomplished it. I think I saved the skin. That was the only part I worried about. And the characters, I should probably have started with that. But the characters are Monday on the left and Tuesday on the right, Woodcutter. These are characters by Alethea Contis. She has several books out. Unfortunately, there's only a few for this series. But I know she has plans for more whenever she gets, you know... All the rights back and stuff and I cannot wait I will be buying the pre-order when this happens because I love this series I think I have three of the books yes I have three of the books so she goes backwards she starts with the youngest characters to the oldest whereas Monday and Tuesday are the oldest and so I've read Sunday Saturday and Friday's story and they are so wonderful. I don't even know which one's my favorite. They're so wonderful in their own way. And and then she has three, three other side stories with Trix. I think that's his name. I haven't read them in so long. But he's a cousin that grew up with them. And I have, I think, all six of them. Plus stories of Erland. Oh. So wonderful. If you haven't read these books, I highly suggest them. But each of them got a gift from their grand... No, their aunt. Not a grandmother. An aunt. I really need to reread these. I'm struggling for details. <laughs> but Monday got a mirror. And Tuesday got dancing shoes. And I don't know what happened to their stories. They've She's given like little bits and pieces to it. But like I said, it's not finished but hopefully one day it will be. And so I thought they would be perfect. I was struggling really with what to draw or who to draw. And I was going through Instagram and I was like, you know what? We're going way, 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 way back to the beginning of my Instagram to find some characters. And I found the Woodcutter Sisters and I absolutely adore them. So I was like, you know what? Yes, <laughs> we're going to draw some Woodcutters. I started with these two, and then in the very beginning, though I don't think I really mentioned it. Well, I mentioned it, but I didn't say who they were. The girl with the axe is Saturday, and then the girl to her, well, our right, her left, is Wednesday. And then I didn't show it, but I've actually drawn the remaining siblings. So I drew Sunday and Friday together. And then Thursday was by herself, so I drew tricks with her. And you'll have to wait to see that in a sketchbook. I haven't uploaded it anywhere, but maybe once they're all colored, I'll group them together and put them on Instagram. But I've talked a lot, but not a lot about the markers. So, <laughs> Ahuhu markers, way easy to blend with. I love them. And... The only problem I had with it were her eyes, as well as the almost green skin. But the blue just would not get dark enough. And I usually have two colors when I do the eyes. But for this one, unfortunately, because it is the pastel colors, I chose the darkest blue. But then that was the darkest blue. <laughs> so I think I layered the top part of the eye just so you could see a difference in it. Four, four or five times. I don't know. I lost count. And then Tuesday, it was once. It was way darker than the Ohuhu one. 
For the dresses, I wanted them to be similar but not the same. So I did Mondays, mostly blue, and then a little bit of the violet color, and then I swapped it for Tuesday. So Tuesday has more of the violet color with a little bit of the blue. And let me tell you, these color combos definitely gave me some Princess in the Popper Barbie feels. <laughs> Which, hey, I'm, I'm not mad about it, but I was coloring, I was like, this looks so familiar, and then I was like, oh, ho, ho, ho. okay. That's where I know this from. And I almost, almost did sparkles on them because I believe Monday is a queen or a princess. She's royalty of some kind in the stories. So it's really, really cool. So it kind of is like Princess and the Popper. Huh. Anyways, so I really was close to giving her some sparkles either on the violet part or the, or probably the whole thing really but not on Tuesday, but I, I held back. I had to rein it in. I couldn't do it. <laughs> I could, but I didn't want to. Uh, what else? In the other pictures, I did a circle behind the characters, but you'll see later that I tried to use the circle and the characters because I guess they're spaced out enough or I'm using a slightly smaller because for the other circles, I think I used the bottom of a pot, like a plant pot. <laughs> I was like, you know what? That's a circle. Hand that to me. And I used that instead of my instrument because I was at my mom's house instead of mine. And I didn't have all my stuff with me. But hey, it worked out. So I did a square instead. It's still kind of hidden. It doesn't really branch out too far, but I guess it was enough to compare greens, which... I chose the wrong green. <laughs> I wanted the, I think you can actually see it right now, the G120, which the Copic equivalent, I believe, was the YG11. And I grabbed what I thought was 120, but it was actually 220. I was like, oh no! So I grabbed the G21, but I think that was still too dark. You can definitely tell probably the most out of all the markers that I used the difference between them. I think maybe G20 or YG61 would have been better, would have been a better match for it, but oh well, maybe next time. <laughs> so I quickly just used my ruler, didn't really measure it out, it's one of the L-shaped ones, so I was like, you know what, this one is the thinner side, I'm just going to use this so I don't have to count. I lightly erased the box so you wouldn't see a pencil mark around it and then just colored it in. I blended it with a hoo hoo to Copic instead of like a hoo hoo to a hoo hoo and Copic to Copic. I blended them together because like I said that green for the Copic side was a bit darker than I wanted but I think it turned out pretty well. What do you guys think? Do you like the verses? I know it's not very informative, but it was fun to do. So if you want to see something like this again, let me know. All right, so I somehow missed a couple seconds of coloring, just the end of this square and then my signature, but you didn't miss anything. <laughs> but here's the finished product. These, oh my goodness are the Ohuhu ones that I used. And then these are the Copic ones. Oh, uh, wait a minute, I'm missing a couple. There we go. These are the Copic ones. I think they turned out pretty similar in color, but let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.